Well, I got uh, a box from Jason at uh, MBMM LLC. This is uh, his Season 2 um, Gold Ore that he's selling on eBay. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so this time a pretty sturdy bag. Nice. So let me unzip tie it. And we've got rocks. And uh, lots of quartz. Some sulfides or, you know, maybe they're tellurides. I don't, we don't know yet. I don't know anyway in this rock. All right, it washed off a few. And I'll let you take a look at them. There's that um, sulfide or whatever it is. There's some, Jason says, maybe it's a telluride. I mean, I don't know if that's the telluride or if that's just a sulfide. Something gold looking there. Doesn't have the luster of gold. I'll, I'll get my loop out and take a look at that. Well, I've been through this much of the bag, and this was most of the big stuff. I've crushed it up a little bit, and this is small enough to go through um, my flail mill. I've set aside some rocks that obviously have little specks of gold, but it's more interesting than that. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Okay, so here's what I got um, out of the whole thing. You can see I've broken this up. So, waste rock, very little, half a kilogram or less. And I've got some specimens that we'll go inside and take a look at right now.
Now, I've got four samples of the ore. Each sample has 100 grams. Now I'm going to add 300 grams of flux mix. And the flux mix, I'll put it up on the screen, but it's one part sodium carbonate, one part borax, and one part Chapman. And so each one of these will get... Uh, there's a lot of quartz in this, so I'm going to go with uh, 250 grams of flux mix. That's a 2.5 to 1 ratio. That will work for this. In J1, I've got assayer's lead, and I'm going to add 25 grams. I'll tear that out first. Okay, so that was six. Good. 25 grams of assayer's lead. And nothing more. And to the reduce the litharge, I'm going to add uh, 10 grams of flour. This reduces the litharge back to lead. Okay, J3 gets metallic bismuth. I'm going to try to get 25 grams of that. That piece was 11. That's 18. And J4. is going to get bismuth trioxide. And I suspect there's uh, silver contamination in here, and I'm going to try to figure that out in this run. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So I got my char. Oh, <clears throat> right. And flour goes in here to reduce the bismuth trioxide, 10 grams. I've got uh, four, these are A6 crucibles, all set up, hunk of iron, old angle iron in each one. And I'm going to mix those up really well and pour each one, one, two, three, four not to get them confused.
Yeah, so here's how things turned out. <clears throat> One, two, three, and four. Two lead and two bismuth. This was lead metal. I got back what I put in almost. This was uh, litharge. I got out a reasonable amount. I put in 34 grams, I think, of litharge, and I got out 24.5 grams of lead. Um, here I put in 25 grams of bismuth, and I got back 22 grams, and that's fine in my opinion. And here I put in uh, 34 grams of bismuth trioxide, and I got back 26 grams of bismuth metal. The, the bismuth um, shatters a little bit. It's a little bit hard to get out, but I think I got almost all of it. I mean, there might be a quarter of a gram left or something, but nothing significant. So I'm happy with this result uh, completely. Here's the results of the fire assay. So we've got four different collector metals and the one on the end was a test to see how much silver there is in the um, bismuth trioxide. So there's a small button prill, a small gold prill there. And there's one right here underneath that residual flux. And um, the bismuth kind of always disappoints me. Uh, we'll dig that out and see what we've got. All right, here's one, two, three, and four. These are the two bismuth, and these are the two lead. The litharge looks like um, it's bigger than the lead metal. That doesn't surprise me. I've seen that before, but we'll weigh it up. All right, there's the... <clears throat> prill from the pure lead collector and here's the bead from the litharge and they're both very yellow so they're pretty pure and here's the bead from the pure bismuth <laughs> and uh, Here's the bead from the bismuth trioxide. So I used four different types of collector metal. Two were lead and two were bismuth. Um, one was litharge and one was uh, bismuth trioxide. You can see that the litharge did better than the metallic lead and the um, trioxide did better than the metallic bismuth. So, you know, and I've seen this effect before. It seems that for small quantity fire assays, uh, I always get a better result using litharge. I've tried bismuth now. Um, this is probably my fourth or maybe fifth attempt, and I never get a good result. So I, um, I'm going to stop using bismuth. Um, I I'm going to use, I think, only litharge. So I measured the prill weights um, with my little beam balance. And um, 
The best result I got was with the litharge. It was 2.93 milligrams was the weight of the prill. And I multiply that by 10,000 to get the um, value of the ore in uh, grams per metric ton. So I'm going to conclude from this work that I'm getting 25 to 30 grams per metric ton. Not to put too fine a point on it because, you know, there's some level of inaccuracy here. And that was a pearl of gold plus silver. I measured the density by measuring the size of the prill using a micrometer. And um, I got these two densities. So this is very close to the density of gold. So my conclusion here is that the uh, material, the precious metal material is quite pure. I would say it's certainly greater than 90% gold. So this ore has quite high value. This is getting up there close to an ounce per metric ton. So it looks like Jason has um, really good ore. If that's run of the mine at uh, nearly an uh, ounce per metric ton, that's some great stuff. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. I'm happy for Jason. Um, I think he does a wonderful job with the videos. I've learned pretty much everything I know by watching his videos. Um, so, you know, thanks a lot, Jason, if you're watching. And I really appreciate it. And in the next video, I'll try to extract some of the gold using my little shaker table. And we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. And please um, give me a like. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.